and here we go. Dylan Jones, the 6'6", 235 pound forward for Weber State. He's more like a shooting guard. He does a little bit of everything for them. I'm not super sold on the prospect, and there's a reason why, but he could have some ability. I just, I'm not sold, and you'll see why in the film breakdown below. But before we get into that, I want to give a big, big shout out to all of our subscribers, like Mike T. Now, he's not Mike Tomlin, but he is a Mike T who just subscribed. And our newest channel members, Monstrous Minds is a channel member. Teresa Adventures in Nursing is a channel member. Really appreciate the channel members. Now, what that does, it allows you to get early access to the content before it drops. If you're a star level member or higher, you'll be able to get access to videos before anybody else, before they go public. Special badges and emotes in the chat. Really appreciate you. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't wait to get into the film. Let's do it. So here we're going to talk about Dylan Jones for Weber State. And right off the bat, it is a lackadaisical turnover. Just giving the ball away. This is later in the season as well. I wanted to make sure there weren't some drastic improvements that I missed out on. Uh, but that is a turnover. Now, Dylan Jones definitely has this ability. Whenever he gets the ball here, he can attack the closeout, even though it's against not the best competition in the world. He can attack that close and create for others. He makes some good decisions at times. Penetrating and dishing. Here we have Jones handling the ball again. Now, in this rep, I mean, he's listed as a small forward, but he plays more like a shooting guard and a playmaking guard than a small forward. Um, and he does playmake. His usage rate is pretty high in the advanced statistics. Um, but this is just a really bad pass. You can't throw that low of a line drive all the way across the court. Uh, it's going to get picked off. All right, so on this rep, we have Dylan Jones scrambling to play defense uh, because there was a turnover and everybody's scrambling to get back. What I want you to notice is how under, how not under control he is on this closeout. Leaves his feet and basically just gets beat. Uh, we need better closeouts. This is going to show up on his tape uh, quite a few times. I'm going to put this rep in here because the ball was being swung a little bit and it wasn't, they weren't going anywhere, didn't have anything going on offense. So here you have Dylan Jones being the older player that he is. He recognizes this and calls for a high pick and roll. And they actually get a really, really good shot out of this. As he, you can see, he recognizes his big slipped. He puts the ball right where it needs to be. His big just brings the ball down where the little guys can get it. Here's one of the things I really like about Dylan Jones, his individual man-to-man -man defense. Not, I'm not talking about closeouts, I'm not talking about weak side help, but just bodying up man-to-man. -man. He's got some special things that you can't really teach. And I want you to watch this rep. Watch his feet, watch his base, look how strong he is, and watch how he just fleeces this guy. Using his length, gets right in there, for the steal. All right, my draft sickos, it's time for a beef check. Dylan Jones, let's take a look at him. He's got a nice stroke and according to the statistics, shoots in the high 30s. All right, so there's a few things. I know there's a divide in the community about the dip. I don't care for the dip. I believe as you get to the higher levels and play better competition, it takes away from your release time. It's harder to get your shot off, easier to get the ball stolen. I don't like the dip. It's just not for me. I'm a big catch high, keep high kind of guy. Always have been, always will be. Uh, but it doesn't mean he's got terrible form. Let's continue to break the form down. I like it. All in all, his form is not terrible. I mean, the ball does kind of come very close to his side of his head and then he brings it up but it's a it's an it's a decent stroke you can live with that stroke it's repeatable that's the thing is the stroke repeatable i believe it is that's a nice nice stroke 
On this rep, we get to see Dylan Jones' ball handling ability, creation, and is he explosive? Let's take a look at it. Again, keep in mind the level of competition. He's got a nice dribble package here. A little hezzy step back into a left hand runner. He didn't get very high off the ground, and he really never does, uh, to be quite frank. But um, it's going to be interesting to see him play at the NBA Combine. Can he do these same level of things against higher competition? I'm a little skeptical. Again, we got to keep in mind the level of competition, but just watch the dribble package here from Dylan Jones. A little right to left crossover off the PNR. Uses that big physical body to get to the foul line. I want you to ignore the freaking brick you're about to see, but just check out the decision making from Dylan Jones right here. That's a beautiful look for a wide open triple. Clanged it though. So Dylan Jones gets these pockets of time where he gets really antsy to make a play on defense and he starts to gamble a lot and he, he just gets beat back door here. I mean, there was no need to gamble. He just needs to stay solid, trust his team defense. Here we have Dylan after, you know, gambling on defense and giving up a layup. He then turns the ball over on a really bad decision. And I'm going to show you why. This is one of the shortest guys on the court, right? I don't understand the logic of this bullet pass. What's he going to do down here? He doesn't have a wide open lane to the bucket. I could understand if this big man was pulled away to like the corner or something, but there is no, there is no end game for this pass. This is just a really bad pass, a really bad decision, and it leads to a turnover after you just gave up a layup. You cannot compound one mistake on top of another mistake. We gotta just make good decisions, play solid defense, play within ourselves, and not beat ourselves. Here we have Dylan Jones again creating for his teammates, making the game easier. A little jab and go and a little no look dime to his point guard. Who I actually like, by the way. I don't think he's gonna play in the league. He'll have a nice career overseas, but I like his point guard. Here, Dylan Jones gets the mismatch with the smaller player on him, less physical player. He's able to bully him in the lane and then find his open teammate for the Fuck. Here I want you to pay attention to this defensive rep by Dylan Jones right here. He just swallows this guy up, doesn't give him any room to breathe, leads to the turnover. So this is the part that's really interesting. I mean, you can only play the competition you can play, but is this going to translate at the next level? I'm, I just, he's crafty, man. Dylan Jones is crafty. Um, he's got a nice dribble package goes for a nice little left to right crossover a little hezzy and then finishes with the close arm to the basket to prevent the shot block i mean he's crafty doesn't have much explosion though doesn't really get up it's going to be interesting let me know what you think in the comments down below will he be able to translate that to the nba this is what i mean whenever we're talking about look at the level of competition that we're facing we see Dylan get matched up one-on-one -on -one, uh, and he just isn't able to create in this situation. I mean, that's going to happen a lot more often in the NBA than it is at Weber State. I mean, in this is clearly a hooking foul right here on the baseline. Just hooks him. Steps out of bounds. Turnover. So, Weber State coming out of the half. They get an ISO for Dylan Jones in the mid post. I like the quick catch, rip through and go, but the lack of burst on these finishes is really concerning to me at the next level. I mean, he got the job done. Is that going to translate though? I'm, I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time with this one. On this rep, I want to point out what we talked about earlier, how Dylan Jones can over pursue on closeouts. He does this as well on passing lanes watch him get beat back door it's coming up right here just gets way too high leaves the back door wide open the more i study dylan the more i'm learning about his tendencies 
he's gonna always come back left off that dribble package. He's got a nice one, nice rip through here, gets the guy off balance, a little light, left, right, but he's always going back left. You're gonna be able to game plan for that. That's gonna end up on scouting reports. I'm just not sure how his game translates at the next level. It's gonna be interesting. Here we have Dylan Jones isolating at the top of the key again, trying to get to that left hand off the PNR, gets stymied, settles for the J, and it was brutal. On this rep, we have a nice play where Dylan Jones is gonna show his veteran savvy. We're gonna get a lob into the post. He's gonna drift over to the lane, pause like he's setting a screen, and then slip right to the basket for the deuce. This is a very interesting rep. I wanna break down the fact that he's given the baseline for a reason because that's where his health defense is gonna be. Um, plus you got the whole baseline. He's just not quick enough to get there, Dylan Jones. But I want you to pay attention to his poise on the baseline, then creativity, crossover, drops a dime to his big in the lane. I talk a lot about tendencies of players al allowing you to excel at defense even if you're uh, an inferior athlete or, you know, or perceived inferior athlete. Um, he always goes back left. He's going to come back left every single time. You can put that in your knowledge bank and you know, no matter what happens, if you get beat, you know where he's going to end up. He just goes left every time. This is where Jones excels. Dylan Jones really excels in that individual man to man defense. Just watch him body up, wall off this offensive player and then just keep him out of the lane, man. No lift on that rebound attempt either. That's concerning. Here's Dylan Jones. They're now losing the game. It's been a long dry spell for Weber State. Decides to take matters into his own hands. Takes out his do-it-yourself kit. Hits him with the tendency breaker. Goes left, spins back right. Little soft rolling half hook off the glass. I'm going to come back to it and I'm going to say it again, man, because as a coach, I'm telling my team, tilt the floor to the left because that's the way he wants to go. Gets into his dribble package, just goes back left again. Everybody knew it was coming. Luckily, his teammates rallied for the rebound. This is not for a lack of effort by Dylan Jones. You just want to see and talk about athletic limitations, athleticism and burst. He's got to get back right now. He's got to be back right now. And he he realizes it. He's just not fast enough. Just couldn't get there. Didn't give any resistance at the rim. No shot blocking threat because he does not get off the ground. He's not an athlete, man. His athletic profile really, really worries me at the next level. Really concerned about his athletic profile. And that is it for me today, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of the 6'6", 235-pound forward from Weber State, Dylan Jones. There's a lot of interesting things about his game, his dribble package, his ability to hit the three ball, his ability to get to the rim, create for his teammates, his individual POA defense, a lot of things to like about his game but there's also a lot of question marks about his game as well let me know what you think in the comments down below of him uh, also an update on the channel uh, we are going to make wednesdays our day for streaming going forward up to the draft every wednesday at 8 30 p.m come join us for the live stream don't forget to like and subscribe become a channel member like the two we mentioned in the intro to this video, our first two channel members, where they get access early to our videos that drop. Also special badges in the live chat, as well as special emotes. You get those by being a star level member or higher, but any level of support is appreciated. I definitely appreciate all of you draft sickos that subscribe. I'll see you next time.